Hello everyone. I saw this tweet and it made so much sense. Let me read it out. It says, these are the unholy alliances that have wrecked Nigeria. Politicians and corrupt judiciary. Politicians and some intellectuals. Politicians and religious le uh, leaders. I even call them rulers. Politicians and influencers. Politicians and their gullible enablers. These are the, and then he said, and then he said, these are the institutions that have wrecked Nigeria. INEC, NAS, Supreme Court of Nigeria, some media houses. Nigerians need to free themselves from these heartless and wicked uh, people. You know, that tweet is so loaded. It makes so much sense. When you talk about, you know, let, let, let me even look at them and, and pick them one, one after the other. Uh, uh, politicians and corrupt judiciary. That's what, that's what we are today. And it's something that has been going on for, since this democracy started in 2000, so let's say for almost 24 years now, right? It's been ongoing. The biggest problem we've had the the corrupt rulers that shouldn't have gotten into office that got into office they actually came into the judiciary with one kind of fantastic fantastically corrupt judicial decision or the other is how a lot of people got into office from you see someone who never participated in election just getting into office uh you see someone who didn't take part in uh, in primaries or whatever and if you see the whole things the 2015 election where the supreme court said that uh the the card ruler the the card reader is not admissible in the court is how wiki got into office and how that whole that whole reform that was done electoral reform of that time was scattered and you see the the 2022 electoral reform that has been done has been scattered by also the judgment of of the courts we have all sorts of all sorts of things that do not make sense. How someone who did not participate in primaries ended up being being on the ballot paper. Meanwhile, the person who won the primaries was thrown away. A Supreme Court gave a judgment on that. So these unholy alliances and some of this, what has happened is that politicians, you know, pay their way. Some of them don't even start paying today. You have to go and check. There have been a lot of reports on, and this is a question: uh, who is who is paying school fees for for some of these? people in the judiciary, their children, who is a lot of money. So some of them are like on the pay, 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 pay roll. Some, there have been, been accusation and report of, you know, judges being on the payroll of politicians. And of course, with that, you don't expect to see good governors. They will do when it is time to call. Of course, they will pay. We saw what Senator Bulkachua was saying about his wife. His wife was the president of the appeal court. And he would come out to say that the number of times that he had made her to favor his colleagues. These are deep accusations that should have resorted into re-judicial review. But of course, this is Nigeria. And everybody moves on. People move on. They, of course, they don't bother. And, 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 continue, and it continues like that. So that's really very an un, a, unholy alliance that have really kept Nigeria down.